hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video my name is carmel if you are new here um so today's video we are going to go hygiene slash i don't know why i struggle to say slash um self-care shopping i need to re-up on some things and probably add some things that i've never used before in the lineup so i figured why not take you guys with me we're gonna go to walmart because i live in canada we don't have like a target here so walmart is like the go-to because shoppers and shoppers drug mart and rexall is just double the price of what i will get for at walmart so i just wanted to pop in introduce that and let's go to walmart Hey guys, so we are arriving at Walmart and while we're going up the escalator, I just want to let you know that this video is going to be in a voiceover because I initially wanted to film inside of Walmart and talk as well. However, Walmart is playing music and I don't want to get any copyright strike. So I just figured I'll just show you guys the product and then I will talk about them in a voiceover. So let's get into it so first up we're gonna go into oral hygiene because you know we don't want to walk around here speaking to anybody with bad breath okay that is a no-no if you didn't carry a toothbrush to work with you or on the go make sure you got some gum <laughs> um so we're gonna start with the mouthwash and this is my third bottle of this mouthwash from the hello brand this is charcoal with coconut oil and i like it at least my teeth really white and i love that the way it makes my mouth smells um the price of this is 7.47 so it's not a bad price for mouthwash um this one i will give a try one day because i see it all over social media um i heard really good things about it but i'm a creature of habit so i'll stick to what works for now um after that we're gonna head in to getting some floss because i know y'all dentists be telling you to floss so you better be flossing <laughs> um it doesn't matter the brand as long as the floss is like durable so i just go for this one but and i pay a little bit more for it don't get the cheap ones because they're just gonna break in your mouth on you um and this one is i think it's this one is a two in one so yeah then we're gonna go for toothpaste i've used different types from the crest brand um however i am gonna go back to colgate optic because i really like the results that i get from this one there it is and this is like 5.97 um it's a lot for toothpaste i'm not gonna lie <laughs> but it says it, it whitens your teeth in four shades like makes it four shades lighter so i got that um next up we're in bath essentials because we need to make sure our body is clean for shaving this is what i use but i have one at home so i didn't need to get another one but this is really good at least my legs feeling really soft and smooth um and i was looking for a body scrub to add to the mix i wanted to try this one but i heard this girl say on youtube that it is like lotion instead of exfoliant so i was like mm, no and i put it back um so here i am just looking around you'll see me again 
here I am again. <laughs> um, so I've used the Dove's um, body washes, different types. I've used this one and it's really good. Um, this is the price of it, which is not bad. This one is one of my fave from Nivea. This is one I'm currently using, but I'm running low on. However, I decided not to re-up on it because I just, although I am a creature of habit, I do get bored and I do like to switch it up. Um, I do want to also give this a try. So on my next hygiene trip, I will give one of these a try. But if you guys have used any of these products let me know in the comment section down below also let me know what products you use for your hygiene and anything that you can recommend for me so i did decide to go with the saint ives oatmeal and shea butter body wash because i've used that a few times and considering i have dry skin this works really well for me i did put the dove one in a cart but i'm gonna put it back because i don't want it I also wanted to get um for you know our little friend down below, but Walmart didn't have anything, so I'll probably put a picture on the screen of what brand I use. It's Summer's Eve, um, feminine wash. But if you guys have an idea for a really good one, let me know. That isn't gonna mess up the pH, you know. Anywho, for body care, we need to keep the skin moisturized, so I'm going to go with the Nivea body lotion. Someone had it at work one time. I tried it and I really loved it. I also got a smaller version for my hands when I'm on the go. And yeah. And if you do not have Vaseline in your skincare, why? I'm judging you. <laughs> no, Vaseline is a must. I usually use it on my feet at night. Um, and also I usually use it in the summertime too because it's perfect. I also use it sometimes on my skin. I think they call it slugging, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, um, I've also used this lotion, but it doesn't work for me. It just leaves like, the, the it doesn't blend into my skin and it just makes my hands look dry um when it comes to deodorant this is what i use but i also used the nivea one before um they didn't have it here i have used this dove spray don't like it um and i'm not interested in using the native one no so here we are just going to get some baby oil um that's a must for me I pour it into my lotions so it can give me some extra moisture um, to help keeping me moisturized. You guys are going to hear that a lot because like I said, I have dry skin and um, winter is about to be upon us and that's when the extra dryness comes out. So <laughs> we are going to stay moisturized. This is also a good one if you don't want to use baby oil. I just finished the bottle, the first bottle that I bought. So if you don't want baby oil, this is a really good alternative from Aveeno. Now next up, we are into hair care. I use currently the Dove Shampoo and Conditioner for my hair. And I've been using the same one for a few months, but now I am bored and I want to switch it up. So I'm still going to stay in the Dove family, but I'm just going to try this coconut oil one um, and see if I have like the same or better results like the last one so have you guys tried it let me know and then we're gonna head over i got the shampoo and conditioner by the way um and then i'm gonna show you guys i used to use this uh, biotin and collagen tick and full by ogx i think that's how you say the brand um these are good too however i just felt like it dried out my hair so i didn't get it and since i am going to be washing my hair i figured it needs a deep conditioner so i will try this coconut oil one from the brand hask um never used it before but we'll see what it do um so this is what the card's looking like so far we are on to another brand of shampoo and conditioner actually i want to show you guys that i do use a time um this is the aussie avocado and jojoba oil um that's a good brand too and it's also really affordable if you're on a budget not walmart with the mail but for 25 dollars <laughs> you funny 
um but we are gonna try this uh vitica brand i've used this brand's products before i've used the almond oil from them but i'm out and i wanted to switch it up um i've never used black seed oil so i will let you guys know what i think about it um they also have it in the shampoo and conditioner too um but we'll try the oil for now and then we'll double back next is self-care i don't know about you guys but i like to spray my body when i come out of the shower um so i just pick up this cheap walmart uh calgon one and then i also like to keep my face hydrated especially when it's looking dull i like to use these um no name brand vitamin c masks from walmart um i usually get winners too but walmart is a spot for today um, and then to stay moisturized, I am going to pick up some Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I haven't used this in so long. Um, and they have it in SPF. So I figured they're both the same price. Why not get it in SPF? Because I don't use sunscreen, guys. I know. And then um, for concealer, this is my favorite concealer right now. It's by the brand Remel London. And I tried it for the first time and I had to get another one. And I use it in the shade Rich. Um, I wanted to see if they had powder, but they don't have anything that would match me. This is the, this is the last shade they go up to. And that is not going to work for me. Um, so next up we are in nail care and if you know, you know, I love me some press-ons But I also like nail polish too and I recently got rid of a bunch that I had so it's time to get some back Um, so sometimes I will use Broadway press-ons But lately I've been using the Kiss brand because I feel like they're a lot better quality And they last a little bit longer So all of these that I'm showing you there with the exception of the one on the far right i have used and i love them so that's all for the self-care hygiene guys i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and share with me your faves in the comment section down below bye